The Stardew Valley randomizer with map shuffling makes it so much more painful at times. Hey, we got the mines. Never mind. <laughs> but also so much more fun to play and makes you play in totally new ways you wouldn't have otherwise. I played a hundred days of Stardew and slept. We still have no clue where the mines are, could really use a fishing rod, and are still trapped in the endless cycle of fall. The end goal here is completing the community center, which is much harder than usual considering the circumstances and having no idea where anything is located. Check out the first part if you haven't yet, but let's go ahead and jump right in and I hope you enjoy. I think the best thing to do is first look at how many points we need for another hint. We're at 39 out of 54. I guess last time we got a few items here. We got a seed maker. We can turn our ancient fruit into seeds and then place them on Ginger Island because he'll grow all season there. Don't have to worry about them dying in winter. But I think actually sleeping one day we can get to Penny's birthday and maybe get a check from her. I should have like an artifact or something to give Penny. How do you get rid of the turtle blocking the way to the volcano? That's a random item I can receive. For example, the one that was blocking the West Island, like the farm portion, I bought from Rob in shop so it could be anywhere the one blocking the north part of the island uh, i was gonna say we dug up penny's birthday gift but we haven't donated this one yet so maybe we can find another artifact for her if i'm not mistaken there we go we can give her this i need to donate this artifact anyway i don't see her here we got hearts with emily in vanilla stardew and i think this isn't changed friendship decays over time so if i don't have them all the way up to 10 i will slowly lose friendship with them if i don't talk to them or don't give them a gift. I think it's only like two friendship points a day, but considering I'm at like year three or four by now, anybody who we gave birthday presents to early on, we might not be so good friends with them anymore. But yeah, here's Penny over here. We'll give her an artifact. But she likes those. Yeah, I don't want to use multi-sleep too long. I gotta use it sparingly. Haley usually spends her time by the fountain, but I don't see her. She might be in her- oh, yep, here she is. That was good timing. Give her a sunflower. George likes leeks. I do remember that one. Leia likes a hazelnut. Probus have a horseradish. I think I'll grow more of these on the island farm. Horseradish, leeks, and daffodils are pretty good gifting items. I can plant more coffee just to make some money. Every Friday, I should buy an iridium sprinkler from Crobus. 10,000 gold. I don't know how necessary the coffee really is, so I'll hold off on that. I'd rather get the mixed seeds down as much as I can. Those take a week, so we'll check back then. Oh, did I? I don't think I entered the Gorman's Frog Cave. That should have been something obvious, but I don't think I've entered this cave. Skull Cavern. Hey, let's go. But the door is locked. We need the Skull Key, but we know where Skull Cavern is. So that's cool, I guess. We have Skull Cavern and the volcano right on our island farm here. But yeah, we need two hearts with Caroline to enter her greenhouse door, I'm pretty sure. So we'll need to find hearts with her to find what's behind that door. Could be the saloon, could be the mine, could be whatever we haven't found yet. We need to gather hardwood. We need 150 hardwood for Willie's boat repair, which is just a random check, but could be something good. Of course, we still don't have a good weapon, so I'm gonna have to just avoid Avoid these tiger slimes. Oh, I got the progressive coop from level 8 foraging. I could craft paths and do this maybe? And get a golden walnut? Okay. It's taken at least four years now and I still haven't found a fishing rod. And once I find that, it'll open lots of checks. And then the sleep hut. Oh, I guess I didn't actually, I didn't realize I had the sleep hut accessible. Okay, this is interesting. Did I unlock the sleep hut? I can actually buy the key to the town right now. But let me just sleep a day and come back here because I'm worried this might be bugged because I really don't remember unlocking the resort here. But yeah, I'll come back here tomorrow and see if it's still there. Yeah, I'll definitely buy the key to the town if it's still there. I'm just worried that it might be bugged for some reason. I don't remember getting it. But anyway, I am gonna just do this. We're gonna lose like 400 gold, but that's okay. I swear I didn't have the sleep hut. I'll have to look back on when I got that. I don't know. It might have been a random reward. Let's see if we got it here. I don't think so. Oh, we already had the coop. I thought we had the barn. So that means we can get a coop upgrade from Robin. We'll do that at some point today. Actually, we'll sleep till the next birthday. Next birthday is gonna be... Oh, it's Elliot. We'll sleep two days until his birthday. 
But I guess if we can access the sleep hut and get into the key room, we might as well take advantage of that. The key to the town, at least, will be very, very nice. We don't have to wait around for places to open anymore. I should sell some of my crops to Pierre so I can afford an iridium sprinkler from Krobus. I think he likes cranberries, and hopefully he likes it. Okay, yeah, he likes it. That's good. I guess we have the sleep hut. I'll just buy the key to the town. Our sleep hut led us to E's golden walnut room, and we got key gems from a random reward, I think, so the key to the town will be the best purchase. We'll be able to access everything without having to wait until everything opens, saving us lots and lots of time. It turns out the island house was actually bugged, and I should not have access to it until I find it as a random item. I did end up buying the key to the town, which is more of a quality of life item as opposed to a logical progression item. By the time you're listening to this, Kaido Kid did patch the bug, so next time I won't be able to access the island house until I actually find it as an item. Alright, cranberries will sell most of them to Pier. Uh, we won't be able to get enough for an Iridium Sprinkler. That's okay, we'll do it next Friday. Oh, I can get a coop upgrade from Robin. I should do that, because then I can get ducks. Duck feathers are a liked gift by Leo. Probus, I'll give a wild horseradish, but I don't have enough money for the Iridium Sprinkler, unfortunately. And then Robin is in Pam's trailer. Spangle seeds, again, all of the crops can be checks, which could be like the fishing rod, for example. So all of those are a potential, just unlikely right now but the purpose was to build the big coop so let's do that and then head home actually i wonder since i have fish sanity turned on and catching every fish is a check does that mean all of the crab pot unique fish are checks as well so my guess is yeah okay i got some confirmation they are checks so fishing level might be needed like what if i need to get the fishing levels and crab pots in order to unlock the fishing rod from those checks it could be a possibility who knows i don't so i'm gonna go to sleep until whose birthday next birthday is jody on the 11th but i want to check the traveling cart i got another stone owl wow i'm gonna check if we have the traveling cart for monday and then if not i think somebody else said wednesday and i guess i should chop down these trees and place paths here so that this doesn't happen again just in case I decide to do any more hibernating. But yeah, the traveling cart has three unique checks, so I'm gonna have to check back there three different times. I'm pretty sure I only got one traveling merchant, so I'll check back today. <laughs> if it's not here today, I will check back the next day and so on until I find it. Let's make sure this doesn't happen again. Craft some paths. Sure, they don't look too pretty, but they'll do. Should have done a better looking path, but that's okay. Yeah, it looks like Monday is not the day for the traveling cart. I'll sleep a couple days until Wednesday now. Also, ancient fruit here. Gotta grab those. Start reproducing my ancient fruit. I do have two chickens, which are probably not being fed. Although I don't have a silo. I don't know where the silo is, which means I'll have to let them eat grass every day. If I want them to eat the grass, I can't auto sleep because the auto sleep doesn't give them enough time to come outside and eat grass. I will let them eat the grass today and then go to sleep. Cranberries have grown, so that's always good. More money. We'll ride on down to the traveling cart. All right, traveling cart is for Wednesday. So let's see. Magic rock candy. Just because there's a chance if I don't buy it, it'll pop up next week. I just want to get it out of the stock here and buy it. Okay, green bean is technically needed. So I guess I'll buy the green bean this time. I think I can place the green bean in the seed maker. And that way I can actually grow more of them. Okay, I think it's working. We'll see what happens. There's always a chance it turns into mixed seeds, which would be a little unfortunate. All right, cool. We got a bean starter, so we can plant those on the island. In fact, I'll do that now so they have time to grow. I need another sprinkler first. I don't know if the cranberries are enough money to get me there, but we'll find out. Today is Jody's birthday, so she should be home right now, which would be through Pam's trailer. 
Now that we have the key of the town, we can just break into Pam's house, which is actually Maru's room. And then should be through here. Have a cranberry. We got the cauliflower seeds from Jody. New seeds to grow on the island. Tomorrow I need to buy a sprinkler from Krobus. So we can actually start growing our ancient fruit and new seeds on the island. Cauliflower is loved by Maru. I also think I can buy the strawberry seeds. So I should probably do that. I have taro tubers. I can actually plant those. Probus has an iridium sprinkler and to the island. I'll get these taro tubers down. You can just plant them by the river here and they won't need to be watered. And then have our trees grown? Oh, our trees have grown down here. So this is two checks right here. We haven't gotten this many checks at once in a long time. We got a water obelisk and quality bobber. Not too exciting. I'm gonna plant the green beans and the ancient fruit. I completely forgot. A second sprinkler. Place that down. All right, cauliflower, bean starters, plant along along here and all of my ancient fruit. I guess I can fill the rest of the space with the coffee for now. Oh, and then I should chop all of these. I still am in need of hardwood. A couple more stumps here. But I don't think there's anything else I need to do today. I'll lose like what, 78 gold, not a big deal. Today's Abigail's birthday. Although don't think I have anything that she likes. Oh, potato, I wanted to put through the seed maker because we can't buy spring seeds from Pierre, only fall seeds. So hopefully that's going to be potato seeds and not mixed seeds because I want to grow a couple more of those. I'm going to take the mini shipping bin to the island at some point. I got potato seeds, thankfully. I'll have to skip over Abigail's birthday because I don't think she likes anything here. Still have to give the banana to the gorilla. Got to remember to do that. Today is the festival day, which I still haven't won the festival. I don't know if I have enough high quality ingredients to get first place, so I think I'll just skip over this day. And then tomorrow we have another check from the traveling cart that we haven't done yet. I don't have money for the cart either. Fishing level isn't too essential now, so we always get that later. Silver quality egg is going to be the best we can do for Marnie. Oh, we did get a gold star. I'll give her that one instead. Let's go ahead and find Marnie. All right, I believe Marnie's at the doctor because for some reason she goes to the doctor every year on her birthday. We'll have to go down to Willie's for that. Oh, she's walking home. Okay, Marnie, have an egg. We can give George a leak. Evelyn probably likes cranberries, right? I think Alex likes corn. He likes vegetables. Yeah, he likes vegetables. We'll head down to sewers. Okay, Probus. All right, give the gorilla a banana. Got three golden walnuts. We need six more until the next check. Because I think all of the parrots right now require 20. I brought the mini shipping bin here so we can actually sell things on the island. Don't really need any of these mushrooms, hazelnut, plums. I will plant the spring seeds. Four spots right here. I didn't bring my watering can, but that's okay. I'll ship these coffee beans, oranges, bananas, and corn. Hopefully there's some mahogany trees up here. We just need seven more hardwood. Gotta dodge these slimes here. All right. Yeah, we have enough now. Cool. But let's not get knocked out. We're really close. Purple mushrooms, I'll eat those before other things. But yeah, I'm gonna just get out of here and not chop down this tree. Because I have enough now. I don't want to get knocked out by tiger slimes. That'd be kind of embarrassing. I just want a club. Even just the basic club would be better than the scythe. Hardwood? Oh, 200. For some reason, I thought it was 150. Oops. All right, Robin's 21st three days and then i should have some more money now once the ancient fruit gets going then our money worry days will be over but robin likes cranberries i'll just give her that robin likes to get up nice and early so she's already heading to her desk okay we need one more heart with her to the island wild horse radish for crobus oh, i got the rusty key that's actually pretty good because that's a new door in the cinder sap forest area while these slimes are distracted i'm gonna chop down this mahogany tree oh we have to wait till tomorrow and then we have the rusty key okay so to sleep it is and then we'll get the rusty key in the mail we'll do george's birthday and actually find a new entrance from the sewer entrance at cinder sap forest Okay, leak for George. We'll get this over with. Just give George his leak and be on our way. We got hearts with Krobus. Two more hearts and we can maybe get Krobus as our roommate. We'll have so much more to do if it's the mines. It would also make sense since Lays is right over there and Lays is the quarry, so it makes sense that they're located near each other. All right, let's take a look and see where this leads. It's the saloon. At least we can give Gus his tomato salt. Although I don't think we can enter his room yet. Yeah, I mean, I can come back here once 
Gus comes down and buy like a salad or a bundle, I think. And then maybe pepper poppers can be a dish of the day sometimes. But other than that, I'll be stuck. So it's not really urgent. Maybe on a rainy day at the island, one of the birds might drop an amethyst. And then, oh, magma geode. I don't know where I'll get that though, without the mines. Oh, we do have cauliflower seeds, potato. We got the green bean. We can do the spring crops bundle. I just need to buy the strawberry seeds. I might end up doing that. Oh, next birthday won't be until pennies again. We're going to loop back for another fall. I want to buy a iridium sprinkler from Krobus. So let's sleep two days. Okay, Clint's and Krobus. It is raining at the island. So who knows? Maybe one of the gem birds there will drop an amethyst, which we need. I will sell the regular cranberries. Pink cake we can give to Marnie for her next birthday. She loves those. And then I want to grab all my geodes. We'll go to Clint's right away. Yeah, nothing real essential here. Although we have the deluxe coop now. If I buy the golden egg, we can get golden chickens and make quite a bit of money from them. So golden egg it is. Bargain for the price of the trash can upgrade. But of course, let's open some geodes. Actually, let's give Clint an omni geode first, just because he loves those. Of course, our inventory is full already. Open hopefully all the remaining geodes. While I I have all this junk in my inventory. I will go to Gunther. You might get something from this. Nope. Nothing new from Gunther. Hinting Island North might be good because there's three entrances there. So that would give the best chance of finding the mines. Although a fishing rod would also be useful. And the mine cards would also get us to the mines. Radium Sprinkler and Wild Horseradish. We got an Aquatic Sanctuary. Oh boy. Special. Oh no. Okay, technically that's out of logic. I bought the green bean from the Traveling Merchant, which unlocked the Special Orders board after harvesting the green bean. And I only say oh no because those take a long time to complete the Special Orders. I got hearts with Pierre. That's the wrong family member there. I need hearts with Caroline to enter her door. But Cauliflower is needed in a bundle, so I should hold on to that. Although it might be better to put in the seed maker first. We're slowly expanding our fields here. Oh shoot. I think I used up all my wild horseradishes, which means I don't know if I can replicate the spring seeds. Yeah, that's a mistake. I thought I'd be able to craft some spring seeds, which is why I tilled all the tiles there. Here's the gem bird. It's an aquamarine though. I'm gonna go give Gus his tomato salt. All right, Gus pancake recipe. I'm gonna grab that because that's required for a bundle. Gus likes oranges. At the very least, I can buy Shane a beer. He deserves it. Pam deserve a beer? I guess so. It's only 400 gold. Oh, Leia likes salads. I'll buy one for Leia. And I could buy Harvey a coffee. I could just buy all of their gifts. Oh, and Sam wants the pizza. All right, I guess we're giving everybody gifts today. And then Clint doesn't deserve anything. Oh, Sam left. You can save the pizza. Three more points. And now Kaido Kid's here to try to influence what I use the hint on, but I'm definitely taking a vote again. Minecarts, Island North, Fishing Rod, Summer. I'm not gonna vote, because if I vote, it'll influence people. And oh, it looks like Island North is pretty popular right now. Let's tie with minecarts. I will look back on that however long it takes to get three more points. Chad's really dedicated to staying in fall. Who knows, summer might not be the season to progress to, so that's why I'm only thinking minecarts or island north might be better. Or even the fishing rod. The fishing rod would unlock so many checks. Yeah, I'm excited to look back and see what it ends up being. I got the- Ooh, wow. That's a big gift to fit in the mail there. Wow. Alright, we just need a fishing rod and how to catch fish. One cauliflower. I'm gonna put in the seed maker. Hopefully not get mixed seeds from it. Because I can't can't buy those from Pierre just yet. Golden egg, I think I can hatch. I still need to get a duck from Marnie though. Keep forgetting about that. Uh, I only got one cauliflower seed, it's a little unfortunate. Put a sea urchin in the aquarium. That's a good idea. We'll drop the sea urchin off and then give it a hat eventually. That'll be our real goal. I want to buy a duck before I forget. I think just one duck should do. The feathers are nice as gifts. Marnie's is through the doctors. Although I don't think she... Oh, she is working right now. I guess before she leads for aerobics on Tuesday, she does maintain her counter for a little bit. All right, we can buy a duck. We'll just buy one duck for now. Jinxed. Penny hasn't been appreciating our birthday gifts. She jinxed us. I can just buy random stuff from Clint with the copper bars and then get two checks and then hint. That's a good idea. I'll do that. And that way we can get the hint done. Although the traveling cart will also give me a quick check. So I'll do that first. Hey, they've got the scorpion carp. Too bad it's not needed this time. Buy a single piece of wood for 770 gold. 
Oh, fishing rod. Hey, hey, look at that. The rare crows, the fishing rod. We have enough money for it too. And a fishing level to go with it. Look at that. We don't even need to hint anything. I still will. Thankfully, chat did not vote for the fishing rod, but it looks like minecarts took first place with 16 votes. So minecarts it is. All right, minecarts repair is at harvest red cabbage. Probably can't do that because I don't think we know where the red cabbage seeds are, but it's all good because we found the fishing rod. We could always hint the red cabbage seeds at the next hint, but that'll be another 54 checks. At the very least, if we sleep, we'll get the fishing rod. Fishing rod's definitely gonna get us so many checks at once. I'm actually gonna sleep two days for Elliot's birthday. It will only be the training rod right now. That's okay, because we'll still get some stuff from it. It is raining on the island again, so we can get another gem bird, potentially. But here's the fishing rod, finally, at long last. Very glad we have that now. All right, I will bring the seed maker to the island. I do have fish sanity turned on, which means every single fish I catch is a check. We're gonna need to do quite a bit of fishing. So that also technically means I could have to catch the scorpion carp and all of the legendary fish to unlock something. So that'll be lots of fun. Also wanna drop off some random stuff at the community center that I can. We'll start by going into town. The training rod only allows me to catch like low tier fish. We can do a little fishing now at least and see what we get. Our smallmouth bass got us a fishing level. That's very nice of that. It'll make fishing a little bit easier. I'm not exactly sure what the training rod will restrict me to catching. Oh, at the very least, we can also get fishing levels now, which will be nice. Let me go to Pierre's and sell my stuff and get that done before I forget, because I know I will end up forgetting to do all that. No gem bird here or in the jungle. I still want an amethyst from the gem bird, so let's see if this one happens to be it. Oh, it is an amethyst. That's nice. The reason I wanted this amethyst was I think it's in a bundle here. Oh, not this one. Oh, aquamarines for that one. That's good. I think amethyst was needed. Was it for Abigail? Did I only want it for Abigail? Oh, it's field research bundle here. I see. But also that'll be nice for Abigail. All right, green algae. I actually don't want to throw that out. I need five of those. I don't know why I grabbed the bait. It's not like I got the fiberglass rod. But anyway, let's see what I can catch in the river here. I think I can get a variety of fish from Ginger Island. Oh, Oh, I got an Iridium Sprinkler from level 1 fishing, although I have been buying those from Krobus. Hello? Is anybody home? The Golden Walnut. Alright, fine. I could plant more coffee. The coffee beans make good money. Of course, I have to walk back here every other day to harvest some. But the whole point was selling some stuff to Pierre so I can buy the Iridium Sprinkler today. Coffee beans, Corn, oranges can all be sold. I can sell the cranberries, and that way we can buy a sprinkler. We'll get another check from Lily's boat. All right, we have enough hardwood. I'm gonna chop down the rest of these trees here, just for a little extra. And I don't wanna get knocked out here. We're gonna retreat. All right, well, I did want to go back to Willie's. 200 hardwood gets us the bone mill. We don't have any way to get bone shards, so that's kind of useless. And then Elliot. Elliot on a Friday is most likely at the saloon, if I were to guess. Let me go to Krobus first, buy the Iridium Sprinkler from him, then go back home, grab gifts for people, and then go to the saloon, give out some gifts. All right, Iridium Sprinkler. Although now that I think about it, I should probably just use the fishing rod and catch some fish and get some real quick checks. I think I can fish in the forest here. The chub's a check for a star drop. Oh, we got the axe. Okay, time to go to sleep and get the axe upgrade and go to the secret woods. I'm doing that right away. The axe is a big deal. Yeah, I forgot to give out. Eh, I'm already home. It will get us another check. I should be able to still access the saloon. Well, first of all, I have the key of the town, but also I don't think the sewers ever have a closing time. Yeah, saloon is lively today. Elliot gets a cranberry for his birthday. 75 copper ore is... Pretty decent for a resource pack. That's a good amount. Gus can have an orange. Okay, Shane likes pizza. Sam likes cactus fruit. And then Leia likes the salad. Oh, and Clint can have a Omni Geode. Yeah, Aquamarine and Amethyst are both needed in bundles, so I'm gonna just save those for the bundles, because I don't know how likely it'll be to get the gem birds again. I don't want to have to go back to the island a bunch of times to check for those. All right, but let's go get that X upgrade for real this time, right after I declutter my inventory at the community center, because Mayor Lewis's house, we can break into his house now whenever we like. All right, Amethyst. 
Omnigeode. I think the Aquamarine might have been needed for geologists. Orange can be used in the artisan bundle. I'll drop off the potato. We can put the other one in the seed maker. Same with the green bean. And then we still need to buy strawberry seeds before I forget. Back to the farm. I'm going to use the shortcut though. Uh-oh, witch is here. I guess we can incubate the void egg after our gold egg is finished. We can craft crab pots now. Void eggs are good for Sebastian and Krobus. Oh no, I'm back at my house house. And we have two ugly babies. Hello, goodbye. Surprised they're still alive there. Wow. So I want to go grab my axe from my mailbox. And then we can enter the secret woods, see if that is randomized or not. Because I'm not sure if that counts as an entrance or not. Bone mill first. Star drop. All right, there we go. Axe upgrade. Steel axe. Let's go. All right, well, let's go to the secret woods and see what happens. All right, secret woods is... The actual secret woods, okay. It might not be considered like a building entrance, which is okay, because we can get more hardwood. I think I can get the wood skip all year round, although I don't know if I can catch it with the training rod. At the very least, I can catch a carp real quick, which I haven't yet, so I'll do that. Oh yeah, algae from slimes, that's not a bad idea. Also, I need some more combat levels anyway. And the carp here will be a new check. Got hearts with Abigail, okay. Maybe we'll end up marrying Abigail after all. We have two children, but no one to take care of them. Our hot java ring is finally coming in handy. All right, any more slimes? One more slime there. No green algae yet. Let me drink the coffee just to clear up some inventory space. I need to remember to check the traveling cart one more time on a Wednesday. I think I already saw what it had, but I haven't bought it yet. All right, we can catch more fish, I suppose, and then wait until another birthday. We're still in the endless fall, of course. Did want to go to the island, so I will do that real quick. Oh, and then I should go to the Pirates Festival today. Uh, hopefully I can reach these bubbles down here. But yeah, there should be a few fish we haven't caught yet. <laughs> I've only gotten trash items so far. But you might be right. Might not be able to catch any fish here. Although there are bubbles now. I love my bubbles. Yeah, I guess I need the better fishing rod in order to actually catch any fish from the island, which is interesting. I came back here for the seed maker. I might actually want to move this back to the farm now while stuff grows on the island. All right, back to town, and then we'll go to Marnie's to the Pirate's Cove. I need to wait until 8 o'clock, so let me catch some fish in the meantime. We got starfruit seeds. We don't know where Sandy's is, so we can't buy them, but I love me my starfruit seeds. All right, Pirate's Cove. I I think the only check we can get from the Pirate's Cove is the darts mini game. So let's do that. Which. Oh, I want to go for probably triple 20s here. I need 11 more points. Got to be an 11 on the board here somewhere. All right, first round done. All right, two more times. First two aren't too bad. The last one that's actually a little more tricky. All right, that's okay. We just need a 60 here. That's fine. I can get a 40. And then one single point ought to do it. There we go. All right, within 10 darts. All right, last one for one more golden walnut. I guess in the spirit of playing the mini games, maybe I should go do the Simon game now. Although I have to go all the way back to the island for that, so we'll save that for another time. One more point, and that should be it. I think it's just three times we have to do it. All right, all that for three golden walnuts. Back to the farm and start doing the ancient fruit in the seed maker. Some more ancient seeds. I have all this bait being built up, but no bait or no fiberglass rod to use the bait. So I will sleep. Got some money at least. We have one starfruit seed to grow. We'll do that at the island. Right, if we go to the regular ocean and maybe the mountain lake, we can get some new fish. Other than that, I think we'll need the bamboo rod for most other fish. So I'm gonna sleep two more days actually until Wednesday, chuck the traveling cart, and then we'll do Jody's birthday. All right, ducks grown, but of course they're not happy. Our golden chicken hatched. We can incubate a void egg now. Oh, 11,000 gold for a mine elevator. That's probably not worth it because we don't know where the mines is. We have a lot of coffee beans grown 
growing at the island now, so hopefully some extra money from those. Still am frustrated that I gave all of my wild horseradishes away to Krobus. I have no way to regrow them now other than trading fall seeds over to the desert trader for summer seeds and then trading those for spring seeds. But we do have lots of coffee to harvest here. Ancient seeds, starfruit seed. I don't have my watering can, but that's okay. They look pretty watered. I guess I can plant my few taro tubers I have. Oh, and we can chop these now that we have the steel axe. Coffee beans, so don't really need the green beans anymore. I'll head back to the mainland. I need to go back to the farm for wood because I want to buy the strawberry seeds from Robin, which I think is the barn upgrade. So I need a little more money and then wood and stone. Also have some more stones to mine down there. That should help because I don't remember if it's 150 stone or 200 stone, but I guess we will have to find out. Time to go to bed. All right, tomorrow I need to grab my wood, stone, and then over to Robin's. And Jody's birthday. Cranberries should be a liked gift for her. At least we got potato seeds instead of mixed seeds. And we got three of them, so that's actually really nice. We also buy ore from Clint to smelt if we really want like an upgrade from him, but that's like a last resort. Robin's is in here. She obviously won't be working until like an hour from now, so I'll have to wait on that. Let me check the special orders board. I haven't done that in a while because these are randomized. Ectoplasm. I think we need to go to the mines for that, so can't do that. We can catch trash. This is actually really easy because we can only catch trash from, say, the island. And I wonder if this works at the island. Linus wants us to clean up the valley, but we're just going to go to the island and do it. Yeah, Robin leaves her bed at 8 a.m. I want to see if we can get anything from her here. So I think it would have been strawberry seeds. 150 stone, 350 foot. We can buy this. We also get a fishing level. Five green algae we wanted to do at the bundle first, so that won't be for a little bit. But yeah, I think strawberry seeds is a good purchase for now. So we'll buy strawberry seeds. Actually, I'll just sleep at my house house while I'm here. That way, I don't have to walk as far. I guess it's time to check on our kids anyway. Can I interact with them? Ooh, I wonder. <laughs> I was gonna say, if we need to level up friendship with our babies to get checks. That'd be interesting. Oh shoot, forgot about Jody's birthday. That's okay. Community cleanup does normally give fiber seeds, but I do have special orders randomized, so completing it will get us just some random item. Yeah, we're stuck in the endless fall, so Jody has plenty of birthdays to come. All the other poor NPCs in other months have nothing. All right, time to fish for some trash. 20 golden walnuts is a new check. I might spend those. Okay, this is working, so we'll keep going. 20 is quite a bit of trash to fish up. Hopefully it leads us to something good. Could be the red cabbage seeds, which will unlock the minecart. Who knows? Yeah, I'm just in a habit of casting far, but max casting won't make any difference, so save a little bit of time that way. Doing it like that. <laughs> that was a quick one right there. Yeah, it would be nice if we had some bubbles. Oh, just as we were talking about bubbles, look at that. That'll speed things up quite a bit. Yeah, bubbles already left me. Very sad. Oh, we should be pretty close. Seven more. I'm gonna move back here just in case some bubbles spawn at the end of the year here. Hearts with Caroline, Harvey, the wizard will all get us a new door, so we have to look out for those. I guess Linus doesn't count the Joja Cola as trash for some reason. Yeah, I never realized that the training rod will be Make this go a lot faster. We can only catch trash here. Usually I would just use my iridium rod at like the volcano lake or mines lake where trash is a lot more common, but I guess this is the best way to do it. Should be like one or two away. There we go. We got 20 pieces of the trash. I wanted to check on the island while I am here. I think I have some coffee grown. And of course our inventory is full again. All right, should get a good amount of money from all this coffee. And then I'll have to turn the rest of the ancient fruit into seeds. Slowly building up our ancient fruit empire. I will ship the coffee. So I'll head back up to town. All right, well, we can at least finish off this special order and that'll get us a check. All right, we'll drop off this trash for Linus. Oh, interesting. Maybe we can enter the bug layer now? This usually only triggers after complete the community center. So I don't know what changes Kaido Kid made. I'm guessing we can go into the bug lair entrance now. I have no idea what let us get that, but hey, I'm not complaining. Gets us a new entrance. Oh no, more hearts with Elliot. Trash quest gives the trash reward. <laughs> 
Sinister Signal? That's a good point. Maybe that's what Sinister Signal does. Have I been up to the railroad since I got Sinister Signal? Kaido Kid's not here to confirm it, but maybe. I still don't know what Sinister Signal does, and I don't know what it could do, so maybe that's what Sinister Signal unlocked? I'm not sure. Anyway, yeah, we can go check out the bug lair now and see where that leads. Maybe it's the mines. Maybe I had access to the mines this whole time. All right, Krobus. Unlock the new entrance. All right, come on, Krobus, give us something good here. Sandy's okay, okay, that's not bad. I think we get a second entrance here, but I think we need the club card for that entrance. I can give Sandy our rose and then get the golden walnuts from finishing that quest. But starfruit seeds, that's going to be the big money maker now. Although, I guess ancient fruit's a lot better since I don't have kegs. But hell by the starfruit seeds just for Sandy. Club card's randomized, so once we find that as a random item, we can get a new door from Sandy. <laughs> All right, Sandy's hiding out in the sewers. Interesting. I should put common mushrooms in the seed maker to get some fall seeds and then maybe trade that way. I'm going to plant a strawberry seed soon. Yeah, I'll just sleep. I want to have my chicken to grow anyway. So in order for that to happen, I have to not auto sleep because of course I don't have hay for the silo. I could buy hay from Marnie and just have a chest, but it's a little hard. Sinister Signal was about the channel that you watch on the one day of the year after you do the dope to your kids. I actually don't know about that channel. That's new to me, but that would also make sense. Orange is a universal like. Okay, I'll give an orange to Abigail then. Might have to go back to the island to grab one though, which is okay. We do need to plant the strawberry seed and the starfruit seed. Let me pet my animals because I might not be back here tonight. I might go pass out at the island. Maybe I'll finally do the volcano. Got our first golden egg. No, I've never actually used golden eggs. Can I turn them into manis? I can. All right, well, let's get an orange for Abigail because I can't think of any other gifts for her. Try watching TV on fall 26th. Wiki says that's the day that the channel appears. Fall 26th. I have children. Maybe I'll get a check from using a prismatic shard at the witch's hut. I wanted to check in with Clint real quick. A couple geodes here. Copper upgrades, I might just do those just to get some random checks. Quality fertilizer could be actually useful, so I'll buy that. I guess I'll buy hearts with Sam. And at some point I can buy hearts with Jazz. Then a couple new stones to drop off at the museum. Oh, wait, let me try this. I think ice cream is a universal like. So maybe I can buy an ice cream and give it to Abigail. Because I should be able to just place my horse right here and then buy ice cream. Let's find where Abigail is. I think she leaves her house a little bit later, so maybe I have to go to the island anyway. I just wanted to show off buying the ice cream with my horse. Saturday, Krobus has a cooked dish. Roots platter. I don't think I need that for anything. Seems like the logic for enter mutant bug lair is having rusty key, access to the railroad, and then either access to Krobus or the blink spell. If that's not what Sinister Signal does, then my thought is it probably is that TV channel on the 26th. That makes sense. Yes, we'll have to find out. I might need to find a prismatic shard first. Hopefully Abigail's still home. Abigail, have some ice cream. Everybody else can have some oranges. Could buy more cranberry seeds from here. I'll plant them on the island. Plant the new seeds. Plus three attack from the roots platter. Oh yeah, that is true. They are cheap, so yeah, I'll buy those on the way back. While well, Sandy's right here, I'm just gonna give her this. And then George needs the TV remote. We should be able to go to him right away. All right, George, have the TV remote. This goes to the wizard. All right, I wanna keep the mushrooms going here. Oh, today is the day I can trade with the desert trader, ball seeds. I'll have to do that next time. Wanna build up a little bit more of those. All right, I will make a new chest just for organization. Whatever I need to donate, I want to separate or anything like that's for quests. That'll get us checks. Though I do normally like putting the shipping bin here, but that's okay. All right, sleep one day at a time or else my animals will begin to not like me. Oh, Sam, apparently. I guess we have like eight hearts or something with Sam. Now I wonder if we have to find hearts with them or we have to start dating them. Either way, we can start dating both Elliot and Sam now. 
All right, chickens should have had enough time to eat grass. Tomorrow's Sandy's birthday. Okay, let's harvest these cranberries real fast. Cranberries, more money. I think I'll go to the desert now. Do I need honey for the artisan bundle? Oh, actually, honey is not on there. Wine's on there. I think I passed up a wine at the traveling cart at one point, but that's okay. Okay, Sandy, birthday gift. We got a mine elevator. We're gonna have lots of mine elevators when we first go to the mines, whenever that'll be. I wonder if there's any more fish we can catch. Oh, today's a gem bird day. Uh, no gem bird in the jungle. That's the one we haven't found yet. I'm gonna harvest this coffee. All right, we're not gonna sit through Journey of the Prairie King with Abigail. Sorry. Oh, Gus likes oranges, so convenient. Here, should like cranberries and then buy cranberry seeds. Oh, actually, I need to remember I should buy the bouquets at some point. Only buy one at a time, it looks like. Let me see if I can get these mahogany trees down before the slimes slay me. I don't know how much health they have, but maybe if I corner them like this. Wow, they have lots of health. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. I don't know how much experience they give, but maybe I'll get a combat level. At least I got a coffee from my hot java ring. Inventory's full, so I won't bother with these trees. We got an amethyst here. And at least give that to Abigail on her birthday, which will be next month. Before I forget, I do need to drop the corn off for a bundle. Plant cranberry seeds. Fall seeds I won't be planting. Those I want to trade to the desert trader on Saturday. And then hopefully get some spring seeds again. We could do another special order board here. Collect a thousand pieces of wood. That's pretty easy. And then we get forge XP at the same time. So I think I'll go with that one. I should have a few things to drop off here. It might just be the corn, but that's one I've been neglecting for a while. And then I want to find either Elliot or Sam and give them my bouquet. Whoever I find first. Oh yeah, I do have quality fertilizer. I think it's too late to plant it with like ancient fruit, but that might have been something good to use it on since it's like a regrowable crop. I guess I can do it with my new ancient seeds. All right, we'll slowly build up our fall seeds and then hopefully get all of the other forage seeds. For now, I gotta sleep. Oh, tomorrow's the fair. Do I have what it takes to get first place though? I don't think so. Don't think I have enough quality items, so I'm gonna just come back to that. Looks like it is raining on the island again, so I could get another gem. Oh, sturgeon. I'm gonna buy a solar essence from Krobus. Uh, maybe I'll just buy all of them. I have got more than enough money. I'll just buy Krobus out of his sturgeons. Clint's first because I do have two geodes to open. I'm gonna catch the bullhead real quick. That'll get us a new check. Inventory is a little full here. I'm gonna drop off my clutter to Gunther real quick and then I can fish again. We got mine elevator. Been a lot of mine elevators. Maybe it's a sign we're gonna get the mines. Yeah, well, we should be able to get the bullhead, so I'll have to be patient for that. Oh, it's a walleye. Got the orange sapling and progressive hoe. I didn't realize I could catch the walleye with the training rod, but the progressive hoe is nice. Not the most essential thing, but we do get another check from Clint. We should be able to catch the full head. We have bears of knowledge. Oh boy, we can sell our blackberries. Somebody said something about blackberries in chat. That's what manifested the bears knowledge. Wizard first and Linus's tent. All right, so Arctic shard. The last thing goes to Willy. Solar Essence is a love gift. Hi, Abigail. I like this cutscene, but we don't have time for that right now. I do believe I have a free obelisk to build. I've got the earth obelisk, and I think I also have the water obelisk. Yeah, just those two. Okay, I'm going to go back to the farm and then sleep, and then Marnie's birthday is tomorrow. Oh, the stone owl statue is blocking our horse from coming down. That's okay. The roots platter might help with doing a volcano run. Walleye, we have to drop off at the community center. Same with the bullhead. Let's sleep. Tomorrow is Marnie's birthday. Another orange sapling. That's already one we found. We got the steel hoe now. We keep grinding up these mushrooms. Animals aren't happy since it rained. I'm gonna bring this to the island with me just so I can keep the seeds going. I think I just have the fish here. Walleye, bullhead, largemouth bass, we need the bamboo rod. Oh, we do need a second walleye. Marnie should leave her room soon, so let's do that before we go to the island. Marnie is running her counter. Have a pink cake. We got hearts with Leia and progressive fishing rod. Hey, there we go. That's actually really good. Thank you, Marnie. 
Thank you for the good items. Well, I guess Leia is another candidate now. Maybe I'll have to give her the bouquet. Either way now, I can catch every fish now. We're in go mode now. We can catch every single fish, including the scorpion carp and the legendary fish. All right, so I should probably just sleep for that and then go back to the island. Well, only the fall fish, but some of the fish that are in other seasons can also be found like at Ginger Island. And I have Ginger Island, so we could get some more. Leia gave us a sculpture. All right, yeah, I'm gonna sleep until the 21st. Robin, we can access her room, so should be able to go right over there. Okay, right. the bamboo pole. Never been so happy to find the bamboo pole. But you know what, training rod, bye-bye. Hopefully I don't regret that, because technically I can trash these items and then never get them back. I don't need the training rod for anything, so that's why I trashed it, but I just realized we don't know where Willy's is, so if we need to rebuy them, we can't until we find Willy. I don't think we need to get her spaghetti just because we have one heart left with her, so just giving her like a cranberry or hardwood should do the trick. In fact, I think I will give her some hardwood. Let's go find her. Copper bar. I think we're done with those, but just to be safe, let me go run over and get a copper bar. All right, who wanted it? George. Oh, shoot, we have to do Robin's resource rush. Can we chop a thousand pieces of wood in a single day? I think we can. Let's do that real quick. Steel axe will help at least. Um, our inventory is full, so that doesn't really help. I don't need to lay a sculpture. Actually, let's be nice and place it inside our house. At the very least, we're clearing up our farm now, making it look a little bit nicer. I will probably run out of energy, but I've got some stuff I can eat. I wonder if buying wood from Robin counts for her resource rush quest. It counts? Okay. So if we need a last resort to just buying wood, we can do that. Purple mushroom will be good for energy. Let me go give this to George before I forget to do that, because I will definitely forget to do that. I wonder if I can craft tappers yet. Looks like no, actually. I guess I haven't gotten many levels yet, skill levels. All right, George is home. Oh, we haven't done the fourth item delivery yet, so got Deluxe Scarecrow from that. I did want to go to the island, so I can actually chop trees at the island as well. I don't know if I have enough money to buy all the wood from Robin, though. And since I do need the foraging XP, I'll just chop all the trees at the island here, and then there should be enough trees. Oh yeah, there is a lot of running around today, so drinking coffee is a very good idea. I got quite a few things to harvest here on the island. Strawberry got us Traveling Merchant stock size. That's decent. I believe the strawberry Strawberry and cauliflower will complete the spring crops bundle, so we can get a new chuck from that. I don't know if I should turn it into seeds, because there's always a chance it turns into mixed seeds, and then I kind of screw myself over, so I think I'd rather just donate it to the bundle. Risk it, turn it into seeds, maybe, because there is a quest for it. I don't think the Jody cauliflower quest is until spring. Oh, potatoes, yeah, yeah, don't sell the potatoes, okay. Potatoes, I want to turn back into seeds. In the meantime, I do need more wood. Let's chop all the trees here. Level 9 foraging already. Mining level. I do have potato seeds and cauliflower seeds unlocked, so once I get Pierre's missing stock list or spring, I can just buy them. Or if I find Joja, I haven't found inside of Joja yet. All right, orange sapling, I'm going to plant. Because why not? Why not have another orange tree? Will I need to talk to Robin after harvesting the wood? I don't believe so. It is her birthday today, which is why I was going to maybe harvest the wood first, just in case I did need to talk to her. Well, don't fall in the lake, but we're about halfway there. Yeah, I will end up just buying the rest of the wood if I need, although Robin probably has left her counter at this point. I will have enough time to finish chopping all the trees. That won't be the problem. I just want to make sure I can find Robin and give her her birthday gift. Which I guess I can just give her a cranberry. I hate put the hardwood back home. But yeah, we'll have enough time left in the day to finish chopping the rest of the trees. That's no problem. All right, Robin is through Pam's trailer. So we'll have to head back there. Probably quickest to just go down here. But yeah, let's give Robin a gift. If she's home, she's in the kitchen. A cranberry will do just fine. We got our Claymore, that's a new weapon. I think it's a sword, but at least it should be better than the golden scythe. So that should help with the volcano. All right, we do need to chop trees in Cindersat Forest to get to a thousand wood. Oh, I can catch the midnight carp while it is this late. I should probably do that. I guess this is why they call it Robin's resource for rush. It really puts us in a rush when we do it in a day instead of a week. At least we have plenty of wood for upgrades from Robin now. 
All right, we got a farming level from Robin's Resource Rush. Farming levels are good. Not complaining about that. That was definitely worth it. Let's catch that Midnight Carp now. Oh, there are some bubbles down there. Might be able to reach them. Let me see what this pulls up first. Can I get the treasure chest and a perfect catch? Nope. Let me see if I can go down to the bubbles to speed things up. We are running out of time. Is this the Midnight Carp? It is. We got a silo. That's very good. Now we can actually auto sleep and feed our pets at the same time. Yeah, Midnight Carp was good. Not needed in a bundle. Is needed in seafoam pudding, so I will just store that away until then. Walleye is needed in a second bundle. Cauliflower, I suppose. I'll put it in the seed maker. All right, time to sleep. And I will sleep until, I guess, no sinister signal today. I did six days instead of five days. I wanted to sleep until the 26th to see if we can confirm what sinister signal was. That's okay. I kind of want Kaido Kid to be in the stream when I see sinister signal anyway. But yeah, I'm guessing we would have been able to see that on the channel there. So we'll save that for next time. On this last day of fall here, we'll just harvest all of our crops. Hey, we did get cauliflower seeds. The question is, did we get one or two? He just got one again. I'll just harvest everything here real quick. Harvest everything at the island. We'll see if there's any more final checks we can get. We did get the Claymore. Claymore is a level 5 sword. I feel like it's probably better than the Golden Scythe at the very least. Oh yeah, that's true. Willy does fish early in the morning, so we can go catch him probably at the beach right now. Where is the worm? Did I leave it at Ginger Island, perhaps? Maybe I left it at Ginger Island. Yeah, I guess I did. All right, so I'll have to go back to the island real quick in order to do that. But we'll go there first and hopefully have enough time to catch Willy before he goes inside a shop. He shouldn't do that until like 9 o'clock. Too bad I don't have any coffee right now. Yeah, I'm not sure if we'll make it. It's going to be tight because we move so slowly here. But either way, I need to go to the island. Yeah, we won't be able to make it just because he will go inside at 9. That's okay. Got a quality sprinkler from harvesting starfruit. And unfortunately can't turn the starfruit into wine, so we'll just go ahead and sell them all. Of course, we have to plant this cauliflower seed yet again. I suppose I can get a check here since I have enough golden walnuts, so maybe something good. Another orange sapling? What? This is our third orange sapling. What's with all the oranges? Wow. Gus made our randomizer seed, I guess. Well, that was definitely not worth 20 golden walnuts, but is what it is. And then we have the five left over for the check from floor five of the volcano, which I'll do next time. Right now, I will, I guess, build the silo from Robin so I don't forget to do that next time. All right, Robins. All right, let's build that free silo. Yeah, nothing else too important. Fishing level might not be bad at some point. But yeah, free silo. We'll go ahead and place it off to the corner. That's fine right there. I was going to go this way thinking it would lead out, but it leads to the desert. Suppose I can catch a sandfish real quick and then go back home. I wonder if I can take the bus back. Oh, I can take the bus back. Oh, that's convenient. Oh, I forgot to give the desert trader my seeds i will have to remember that next time all right hopefully this is just this yeah this is just a sandfish i forget the sandfish aren't easy either the scorpion carp's just way way harder especially with such a low fishing level but there we go sandfish jazz seeds that's a new check once we grow them so it's not terrible oh wait can't fill up the silo today because we have to give robin a couple days to actually build it no scorpion carp today definitely not going for the scorpion carp next time we'll have to fill up the silo with all of this grass we have ready. I will keep putting the ancient fruit to seed maker. We have quite a bit of ancient fruit now, but we'll end with some farm chores here. Should remember to pet all of my animals. Got our void chicken. All right, I guess we, we got a duck feather now. It is needed in a bundle. I think a brown egg is needed in a bundle. Duck egg? Duck egg is not. Copper should finish smelting in like a second. Oh, still haven't found anybody to give the bouquet to yet. Her options are Elliot, Sam, or Leia. I think I'm leaning towards Leia. I don't think I found the inside of her house yet, so that's another, like, entrance we will find and be disappointed in when we find it because it doesn't unlock much. But yeah, I will sleep this last day, and fall has come to an end yet again. Year four. Now, originally I planned to make my last two streams into one single video, but the editing ended up taking way longer than I expected. But I should have the next one out soon, so keep an eye out for that, and I'm excited to share that I will be doing a Stardew multi-world soon, where my random items are scattered across other players' Stardew world. So that should be lots of fun, and if you'd like to catch that stream, it'll be this Friday, 5pm CST. 
Thank you so much for watching and all the support. I hope to see you in the next one.